Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, I have shown you how the unused components will not be removed when the tokens are retained. So that is one thing, the, the two scenarios in which the tokens will be, the unused components will not be removed, preventing the tree shaking is the two scenarios I have. Those are nothing but the content queries and also the constructor injection. So these are the two scenarios where the tokens will be used and if you try to not use the components also because of the tokens retainment, the tree shaking will not be possible. So how can we make this one uh, working? So now for example, let's try to see here. So these are the two things we have seen it, right? In the constructor injection and also in the content query. So now how can we read, how can we find a solution for this one? That is nothing but using the lightweight injection tokens. So we need to use the lightweight injection tokens. So what is this lightweight injection tokens? So here I will try to explain you. In order to avoid retaining these unnecessary tokens and components in the final bundle, lightweight injection tokens are used. The goal is to create an abstract token that can be tree shaken, while the concrete implementation example library header component can still be injected if needed. So that is one thing. So how we can do this one? So first of all, what we need to do? First of all, we need to create a lightweight injection token as an abstract class, abstract class which represents the dependency. So let's try to create an token for this one. So here for this one in the services, so let's me go into the services. Here I will create a token that is nothing but uh, library header token, token dot ts file. So now if I try to use this one, so here we'll be having an abstract class library header token. And this one is our thing. And I will try to export this one. So this is our just is an abstract abstract class library header token. So now first one is the second is the second step what we need to do it is provide the concrete implementation using the use existing associating the token with the actual component. So let let's go to the library header sorry library library header component dot ts file and here we'll try to do something like provide providers and here I will use so it is an array and here provide the library header token and it should use the existing instance only so we have learned about this use existing also library header component that's it so now this can be used as an library header token also that's it so now what we can do it here so we can extend this one so extends library library header token that's it so now this is the implementation for this one the third one is reference this token in the parent component that is nothing but library token called library card so here let's open this one so we need to reference this one so how we can reference instead of using this content chain so i will try to remove it directly here so instead of using this library header component i will use the library header token okay so here we need to use the library header token and we can remove this library header component. Okay. Why? Because we will not use this one and content shell also. So here we'll be using library header token. That's it. So now we have implemented this one by doing this, the library component to card component no longer has any direct references to the library header component. Angular can now properly tree shake the library header component if it is not used as only the small abstract token library header token is retained so that's the thing that's the thing <clears throat> now what why it is important for the bundle size so now here let's try to see the implementation for this one so here if you uh, refresh this page okay so if you try to refresh this page and here if you try to see it is undefined why because we are not uh, implementing this one so let's try to check the file uh, main.js file size so still it is 77.7kb why because in our app.component we are still referencing it so we need to remove, remove it from the app component here. So here if I try to remove it, try, try to observe carefully, it is 77.7 KB. Now the main.js file, it is only 74.4 KB. So that means it has been removed. Okay, 74.4 KB. Now if I try to use this app.component.html into this one. Previously it was not removed, app, app hyphen, library hyphen, header hyphen, cart. Okay, and we need to import this here. So it is imported. Now if you try to see, Directly it has been increased to 77.8 KB. So this is the thing. So now when you are not using the library head component means automatically the 
unused component has been removed okay so only the small abstract token has been used unused component has been removed so now for example let's say that so this is one thing why it is why is this important for a bundle size if you directly reference so for example let's say that why is this important for the bundling size i'll try to explain you so why is this important for bundle size if you directly reference large components or services they will be included in the bundle even if the application doesn't use them by using lightweight tokens the concrete implementation of these components can be removed from the bundle if they aren't used in the application so this pattern this pattern ensures that unused parts of your library don't end up in the client's bundle leading to smaller application sizes and faster load times so now example with the api definition for example let's say that if a parent component needs to call a method in the child component that method should be defined in the abstract class for example let's say that so if you are having a uh, in library token let's say that here in our card so we are having some method okay do something okay we are having some method and here we will be using console.log do something method called okay so i want to call this method in which one in our parent component that is my library component so here i need to call it that is nothing but other dot do something if i try to use it like this it will represent an error why because here we are representing the library header token not the library header component this method is existed in the library header component so what we need to do let's go to into this one and here we need to mention the abstract abstract as this one is the only the uh, declaration will be there do something and i can use do something and which returns a value of void that's it so now if you try to see the output uh, implementation in the library component so here we are not able to see so here you can write in some, such a way that if this dot other other means nothing but the component is available then we will write a condition like this now if you try to see the output for this one see here in the console you will be able to see do something method called okay and this undefined uh, why it is coming undefined somewhere we have written anything so this is how we are able to get it and now if you try to see the network component also the main.js so here the file size also it has been there so if i try to remove here automatically the file size will be decreased so here if i try to refresh this page sorry here if i try to refresh this page automatically okay here it is not decreased why because in our app.component.ts file still the reference will be there so if i try to remove here so now automatically the file size will be decreased for the main.js from 78 to 74 as the component file size is little uh, is less is a small one so that's why we are able to see only the 4 kv uh, down so this is one thing if a parent component so the method should be defined in the abstract class also so in this case if library header component is used angular will inject it and the library card component and call do something if library header component is tree shaken because it is not used then there will be no reference to it and no runtime method also will occur so naming conventions also you should be very important to maintain clarity in your code, you should name your tokens and components clearly. Components follow the standard Angular naming conventions with a component as a suffix, such as the library header component. Tokens use the component base name with a token suffix, such as library header token. This makes it clear which class is the abstract token and which is the concrete implementation. In summary, what I want to tell you is before closing of this one, the lightweight injection token pattern helps prevent unnecessary coding from being included in the final bundling, enabling the tree shaking. This is important when creating the library used by other application as it helps ensure that only the parts of the library actually used by the client are included in the final application bundle. This pattern involves using a small abstract class as a token and referencing this token instead of the concrete class in the components or the content queries. Hope you understood about this uh, uh, dependency in optimizing the application bundling size. So this is one of the pattern. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.